Hello everyone. It's been a while since the last video, but uh, today I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, uh, this operating pressure in ANSYS Fluent. Uh, I've been asked several times uh, by the viewers what exactly the operating pressure is, what the significance of the operating pressure, what we exactly should put uh, the value of the operating pressures in the in operating pressure in the simulation and it's, and etc. So if you want to know what ANSYS Fluent is uh, exactly giving you as information for the operating pressure, you can simply just click on the help and go to the help here and see what operating pressure is defined in ANSYS Fluent. The way that uh, ANSYS Fluent has defined the operating pressure or the pressure itself, it has divided the, the absolute pressure into the operating pressure uh, plus the gauge pressure. So if you look at uh, a simple flowchart or a simple uh, figure that I have plotted here, you see that if this is the absolute pressure on the left side, uh, the pressure is divided into the reference pressure and the gauge pressure. And the reason behind that is, uh, imagine that you are calculating the pressure in a, in a control volume like this, that you have only two cells and you want to calculate the pressure difference, I mean the simulator wants to calculate the, the pressure difference between two nodes in this adjacent uh, nodes. So imagine that your pressure is like uh, 100,000 point uh, 238 Pascal on one cell and on the right cell is 100,000 point 235 on the, on the other side. So if you look at here, the, the, the difference between the, the, the two pressure is very little. And uh, uh, having known that the, the precision of your computer or your simulator is limited, uh, if the pressure in some cases is uh, even lower than this, I mean, if the total pressure, the absolute pressure is higher than this and the, 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 the absolute difference between the two is even smaller than this, then you may face some sort of round off problem. Uh, meaning that your computer, the precision of your simulator or your computer is not able to handle that uh, little amount of pressure difference or the two value differences between two nodes. So what uh, ANSYS has thought about this problem is that, uh, okay, let's assume that there is a reference pressure in the system and let us uh, I mean, deduct that absolute pressure from that reference pressure and make the gauge pressure smaller. Uh, in this case, if we assume that our reference pressure is 100,000 Pascal, which is uh, similar to one atmosphere, then the gauge, pres the gauge pressure is uh, simply 0.238 uh, on the left side on one node and 0.235 on the right side, which is the other node. And the difference between these two, I mean, the amount of precision is much, much uh, easier to handle for the simulator. So the whole idea behind uh, dividing the pressure into gauge pressure and reference pressure is, uh, is to make the things easier or more accurate for the simulator to handle, to make it more precise, to avoid the round of problem. Uh, in that respect, uh, you can see that when you come to the boundary conditions, you can simply define the operating conditions by just clicking on the operating conditions and put your operating pressure here. Uh, most, of the, most of the cases like in um, uh, the simulations of the flow inside the pipe or the flow or the channel or uh, similar problems or 1D, 2D, incompressible flow that the out the, uh, that the operating pressure is in the atmospheric pressure you can simply put your operating pressure at one bar or one atmosphere which is uh, 100,000 pascal you can see the exact number here and uh, the pressures from there on that you put in your simulator is uh, really the gauge pressure so meaning that if your outlet boundary condition is one bar so you have to specify zero value for the outlet condition. And whatever you get actually uh, inside your model is the gauge pressure as well. So if you want to avoid the negative value, uh, you better have uh, the outlet pressure a little bit higher, for example, for a flow inside a pipe or uh, anything else that is operating in the uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, 
you can you can see this uh, explanation in the help as well so this is clearly said that all pressures that you specify and all pressures computed or reported by ANSYS fluent are gauge pressures meaning that if your absolute pressure is um, a little bit over than one atmosphere then what is reported as as in the ANSYS is uh, is uh, uh, minus one atmosphere so it will produce the gauge pressure as your uh, final uh, value in the plots or in the control plots or in the results itself I hope this video has been useful and uh, you got to know what exactly the gauge pressure the absolute pressure and what operating pressure means in ANSYS fluent until next time, thank you.